How's it going, everybody? I want to talk a little bit about some practical radio usage on HF, particularly when it comes to when to use digital modes and when you can branch out to other modes of operation when using your radio. I think you know that I like Whisper and I like FT8. There's a number of other modes that I, I really enjoy using. And I right now am going through what's really a, a, a great uh, time on some FT8 into China, Japan, Asiatic Russia, down south into Australia. It's great right now. And it, this is 10 meters. This is a good opening that we have right now. But what I want you to pay attention to is the signals, particularly on the receive side of the path here. So look at this guy, negative eight to Japan. And over on the right-hand side, a number of Japanese stations. There's actually a Chinese station at negative 10. There's, I don't even know what a JE station is at one. Those are all stations that you can actually make a contact with over voice. Basically, if it's you know negative 10 or higher, you should be able to make a contact on voice. So if you were interested in doing that to flesh out your log with not just some really cool FT8 contacts, you can also pursue voice contacts. Like right now, I'm I'm almost like the DX right now. You can see all these DX stations are flying into me right now because I have a really good signal to them right now. So you should absolutely take advantage of that. Oh, it looks like the JE station is Japan. Of course it is the J station. But anyway, quick video just to say, hey, if you can hear them on FT8 at like a negative 10 or better, so negative 9, negative 8, all the way into the positive numbers, voice will work for you. If you're getting 10 meters and you're getting cross ocean level at negative 10, switch over to single sideband and see what you can do. You might be able to make some really cool contacts. We got South Korea, multiple stations in China. This is the most stations in China I've seen in a long time. You can see that on my right hand side of the screen there just an absolute insane number of Chinese and South Korean stations. Very, very cool. And they all want to make contact with me. Ha ha ha. Like literally, look at the waterfall. It's all stacked up <laughs> right on top of my state on my channel. I should be live streaming this kind of stuff. Oh, what's that? Another BG? What's BG? BG's China, right? Yeah, this guy. Um, IDX. Yeah, let's let's make a contact with him. I was trying to get him earlier, but he didn't come back to me. So come on now, dude. It's your time. Let's go. And I got Don messaging me in the background. <laughs> he got his D-Star uh, hotspot working. Come on, IDX, let's go. All right, there we go. Negative 23, bro, I'm running, tw I'm running 200 watts at you. Uh-oh, I think the opening is, is fading. You can see the numbers are going away. I have my antenna pointed like directly in the China area right now. Now I'm gonna take advantage of one of the nifty features with Ham Radio Deluxe. Below me is the DX cluster and that tells you where people are making contacts or whom people have made contacts with. And we're showing 10 meters. There's some activity, but if we go over to the DX histogram, we can see a lot of contacts are getting made on 40 meters. And then there's a decent amount on 20. You can see a lot of those are CW, not a lot of voice. The voice seems to be mainly in 10 meters, 20 meters, a little bit on 40. I found myself in another great 10 meter situation where we're just picking up all kinds of DX signals. Right now, my uh, my my antenna is pointed to the, to the west, to Japan slash Australia. Kilo India 6, November, Alpha Zulu. Okay, the Delta Alpha Zulu, the Delta Alpha Zulu, one more time. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, QSL. November 7, Delta Alpha Zulu, Roger. Negative, negative. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Kilo November 6, November Alpha Zulu, Roger. Uh, negative, negative. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. A uh, negative, negative. Kilo India six. Kilo India six. India six. Okay. Uh, do I that six November Alpha Zulu. Six November Alpha Zulu. Roger. Roger, 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 Roger. Okay, and the first two one, that's Kilo. Kilo India. 
Kilo India, Kilo India, Kilo India. Copy, 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 copy. Correct. This is Josh, Josh in Southern California. Copy, copy. You are a 4747 as well. Thank you for the contact. Uh, DU1, November Lima, Oscar, Kilo, India 6, November Alpha Zulu 73. So you had to work a little bit on that one, but uh, that was a straight-up single sideband contact to the Philippines. There's not a lot of activity on 10 meters right now, but yeah, if you're making FT8 contacts, you can absolutely just work DX if you just take the time and go ahead and do that. And then again, if you can make really strong contacts to a particular country you're interested in, like the Philippines, which I, I think I did uh, just recently on FT8, then you likely can also do single sideband. And if that means you got to call CQ, well, then just call CQ. CQDX, CQDX, CQDX. This is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Anyway, I'm Josh, KI6NAZ. Thanks for watching. 73.